What is up guys, Gallant Maul back again with another video. On this video I'm going to be doing an updated Kraken guide, since a lot of people have been asking for it since they changed it since the last video I done on it. You're going to want to get Kraken as a task, and then you're going to teleport to Kraken. I doing? I don't know why I clicked soul split on guys, sorry about that. You wanna poke each world pool one time. <coughs> oh, sorry about that guys. Still a little sick getting over it. And then you're just gonna focus the crack in. He's actually hitting now, that's new. Usually never hits. That thousand hit. It almost might be beneficial to kill the tentacles now, maybe. Since he actually hits, he might, maybe, I don't know though, we'll see, cause I've only, used, I've only used one food so far, so it ain't too bad, it is, it does hit a lot harder now, than what it used to though, that's for sure, it used to like never hit, you're just gonna sit here, watch your health, I think he maxes about a 12. He hits a little more often than he used to. I just want to camp him. Kill him. That's pretty much all there really is to it, guys. You just want to poke the tentacles once. Focus down the crack in itself. And then I have heard that they uh, changed it so you can't um, just re telly back in. You actually have to re log, I believe. Okay, one more hit and he's dead, hopefully. If I could ever hit. There we go. Alright, and then that's how you kill him. Safe back up real quick. And then... See, the Kraken will respawn shortly. Okay, so let's tell you out. See if it works. Teleport back in. Nope. So, yep, you got a log. So I'm going to pause my video real quick. I'm going to re-log just because I don't want to see... No one see how many characters I got in my password, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I re-logged really quick. Let's turn on these. Okay, go bosses and cracking. Yeah, see, so you have to re-log each time you kill. Probably just because they got tired of people camping it so much. And then I also heard... That you cannot reassign Kraken as your task anymore. So you cannot just sit and camp Kraken all day anymore. This is the method I used when I was camping him. Why is my protect from mage not on? But yeah guys, this is how you camp Kraken. Super easy. It's a little more difficult than what it used to be, just because he hits a little more often. I feel it's not that big of a deal though, you just gotta bring food, and you'll be good. Probably get about 2-3 kills in inventory, I could've got, could've tanked a little more damage on this kill here, but I forgot I had, I didn't turn on my protect from mage, so... 
I ended up getting hit a few times in the early beginning. Try and get one more kill in for you guys before my recording limit reaches since I can only record up to 10 minutes with the software. But, ooh, that 91. You guys don't want to just camp him. I've also heard people killing the tentacles, killing them all first, and then popping up the Kraken, and then just soul splitting them. I haven't tried that method myself. And then I've heard people um, bringing blood barrage and soul split and just blood barraging with soul split and just the retarded heals just heal you up madly. But I'm not too sure on that either. I haven't done it. This is the only method I've used because it's worked for me. It got me like seventh in kills when you could just camp it. So this is this is the method I use. One more hit. Oh no. This will be it. There we go. And plate legs and plate body. Alright, I'm gonna pause it, grab my Slayer Gem, and show you how you cannot reset the task anymore. Alright, I got my gem, fellas, so you're gonna wanna right click it. Go to Slayer Management. Move, see, it don't even give you the option. It just gives you. I know for a fact once you complete this task, it will not let you reset this task. So you cannot camp it anymore. But if you do get it for a task, don't skip it. Do it because you can get some good loots from it. And 180 kills. I got a trident drop. I'll actually. Swoop this over, hang on, give me a second. I'll swoop over uh, my kill log on all my loots. Okay. So this, this is like 273 kills. It's not too, this is 73, I stopped keeping track a long time ago and just started using the high scores but yeah as you can see I got almost three celestial sets one trident of the seas 300 mil drops I got a bunch of Zora tellies too I didn't mark those down just because I use them um, but yeah that's about almost 300 kills worth of loot so it's not a bad boss to do you can get some good loots it all really just depends on your luck because I know people that have camped Bork for 12 hours straight haven't gotten a single drop at all and then I go there kill for like 10 minutes and then I'll get stat legs or stat body or something it's all on your luck it, you can't rely on the drop rates because drop rates are not a for sure thing. It's pretty much like rolling a 1,000 sided dice, saying you're killing Bork going for a statius part. It's like rolling a 1,000 sided dice and hoping it lands on that one side every time you roll it. That's how PVMing works. So if this guide helped you and if it's better than my last cracking guide, Please give it a thumbs up, please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos on the daily.